Mogollon Culture The Mogollon people lived from about 200 AD to 1000 AD in a mountainous region of what is now southeastern Arizona and southwestern New Mexico. Its name comes from the Mogollon Mountains of New Mexico that were named in honor of Don Ignacio Flores Mogollon, a Spanish governor of New Spain of what is now known as New Mexico. The people of the Mogollon culture lived in well houses from 200 AD to 1000 AD. Pit houses are structures dug into the ground surface with stake and thatched roofs supported by posts and beams. In the 11th century, the people of the Mogollon culture began to live in cliff dwellings, which are room structures built in natural caves. The Mogollon used pottery called mimbres. Their pottery was generally black and white with black designs. The pottery was decorated with images of animals, people, shapes, and abstract designs. Holes were fi found in the pottery bowls, and it is believed that when a Mogollon died, a hole was made in the middle of the special pottery. Then it was placed on the face of the person who died to allow the spirit to come out. The Mogollon people also left amazing images painted or chiseled on the stone surface. These representations include jaguars, mythical beings, deities like Quetzalcoatl and Tlaloc, animals, jaguars, tadpoles, fish. These images might have been a way for them to explain their origins of the tribe, why they choose their homes, or show their beliefs. Archaeologists have recorded more than six dozen Mogollon rock art sites located in southern New Mexico, western Texas, and northern Chihuahua. And there is many sites in Chihuahua that has never been surveyed. The Mogollon people hunted for wild turkeys, muskrats, beavers, black-tailed jackrabbits, and lizards. They also consumed corn, squash, beans, amaranth, pinion, acorns, prickly pear, wild tomatoes, and sunflower seeds. Now, what language did the people of the Mogollon culture spoke? It's very possible they might have spoken Keres, Tanuan, or Anuto Aztecan language. And it's very likely they spoke Anuto Aztecan language as it was widely spoken around those areas. And what happened with the people of the Mogollon culture? The native people disappeared 50 years before the Spanish arrived, or disappeared when the Spanish arrived. Some suggest that drought could have been the cause of its disappearance, or as the system fell apart, the Mogollon population moved out of the valley and joined other groups and civilizations. So who are their descendants? Many archaeologists believe their descendants are still alive today, and they are the Raramuri who are located in Chihuahua, Mexico, Hopi Native Americans, Sunni Native Americans, and Acoma Pueblo Native Americans.